but not for the outside. Okay, we left off, I think, 806. We're speaking about the person who's a true aesthetic. This person is totally detached from physicality. His demeanor, he says, he's rach mi He's as soft as butter. Umosot mi sweeter than honey. His whole demeanor is temperament. Because nothing affects him because he understands everything that happens because that's the way Hashem wants it to be. Mitzavah la'emes, Dover and Tzedek. He says, Mitzavah la'emes. He urges others to truth. No, very often people don't want to hear truth. You know, you, you don't meddle in other people's lives. It's meddling. Mitzavah la'emes. He urges people to be truthful. Dover Tzedek. He only speaks Tzedek, righteousness. Or it tells the story at the end of Marcus. What was it? Uh, of Safra. It was Dover Emes Bulvavo. He was in the middle of Krishma, and somebody had come who wanted to purchase something from him. And he offered a price, and he didn't respond because of the middle of the Shema. So the person had thought that the reason why he didn't respond was because he's, he's holding out for a higher price. But in his mind, when he heard the lesser price, he already agreed to give it to them for that lesser price. When he finishes the Shema, so the person says, so I'll give you a, a higher price. No, he says, I'll give it to you less. Although the person was agreeable to, to, agreeable to pay more. He says, because in my heart, originally I had in mind to give it to you for less, that's Dove Emes Bulvavo. He speaks truth in his heart. Since in his heart he was committed to that, he, he, he's, he's, he's committed to that. Dover Tzedek. This is Dover Tzedek. There was even a greater level. Dove Emes Bulvavo, in his heart, he spoke truth. Famous story with Bernard Baruch. Bernard Baruch. He kept one day a year. He didn't, one day a year he'd, keep, he'd answer the phone. Jim Kipper. Would not, you know, he was a real estate magnet. Bernard Baruch. And if somebody wanted to buy a certain piece of property, and the phone rang off the hook, all Jim Kipper. He wouldn't answer the phone. As a result of that, the, buy, the potential buyer who had interest thought he's holding out. And because he didn't answer the phone, he, whatever it is, he made a fortune. Sold it for much more than originally would have been, the, if he would have, he would have taken the lesser if he would have answered the phone. Say, similar. But it wasn't Dovah Emes Bulbovo. Okay? Ozi my Voyov. No. Ozi my Voyov. Goes his desires. Mitzapa liyomo. Hear this? He looks ahead to the day of his death. And does he really want to die? What if he looks forward to the day of his death? Yeah. It's a combination. I mean, ultimately, a person wants to have a relation with a Kodesh Baruch Hu. You take a look in the in the Orachim Hakodesh, the story of Nodav and Aviu with the story with the Taurus was a suicide mission. I mean, how? If you're not permitted to bring the Taurus, I mean, how do you do such a thing? A person can be so enthralled and so enthused and so carried away, even if it means dying, that's your desire to attach yourself to Hashem. That's what happened to them. Korach was what? No, he never believed it was going to happen. No, he never believed it was. He thought because Eino Hitoso, 
He was the long. He believed he'd be the lone survivor. So there was no suicide. For the others, not for him. He misled the others. Right? He misled the others. For his own glory, he misled the others. Because I'm going to be on top. Here he's Mitzapa Liyomo. Of course, every moment he lives, he wants to be here to accomplish more. But ultimately, what's the objective? Right? The objective is to have the relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He's Mitzapa Liyomo. Ome v'ose. This No, but it's not. You're yearning for that day. No, no, no. You, no, that day is having the relationship with Hakadosh Baruch Hu. But when will that be? When Hashem says the time's up, when he's not able to perform any longer. But of course, the performing will enhance whatever that day will be. Omev Oseh. This is a big thing. Omevo, you say, you do. You carry out your word. I mean, by Avrom we find even greater. Tzadik ma'omer ma'at v'osem harbe. Right? Rishoyim omer harbe v'enim osem afil ma'at. That was Ephraim. Right? They promise you the world. They don't deliver as much as an iota. Avrom omer ma'at v'osem harbe. Chochem. He's wise. Zoris. He does things with zeal. Nafshu yekoro. He has a precious neshaba, the labrios noach. He's pleasant to people. Giba ba'oritz. He's a hero on earth. Nitzol b'mikol kenus. He's beyond reproach. Now the story of the Chavetz Chaim. You know when he was accused of harboring a spy in his yeshiva. Somebody had planted uh, sketches in the installations of a, a boy who came from Germany and he was a Talmud in the Rodden. So they, they accused the Chavetz of harboring a spy because he was brought, he was put on trial and he could have been put to death, was sent to Siberia. So they had character witnesses. So the character, famous story, heard the story. So the character witness was that Chavetz Chaim was in Vilna in the train station and somebody had a pickpocket it, lifted his wallet. And the Chavetz Chaim runs after, chases after the thief and says, I forgive you, I forgive you. This is the character. He says, could a man of this caliber harbor a spy? So the prosecutor was a rabid anti semite and says to the judge, could you, do you really believe that story? So the judge says, I don't know if I believe it, but those stories, they don't say about me and you. Above reproach. Understand? That's above reproach. Ezra Ladal Uchua La Oshuk. He's there to help the impoverished. And he's there to assist the victim. He's there to assist the victim. Lo Yachsov Mistor. He says he does not reveal what is hidden. So he will not reveal any, something of confidentiality. He will not reveal. Chovetz Chaim speaks about this in, in regarding in Chovetz Chaim. People, you know, they, they share confidential information. You know, they share it. Halach is you're not permitted to say something over unless you, you, you give an explicit permission. Once had a cave story. This happened on 63rd Street. A certain person said something at a breakfast table. It must have been 10, 15 people. So I shared it with somebody afterwards. So he called me up. He says, you know, it was confidential. Wait. So I said, if you look in the Chofetz Chaim, the Chofetz Chaim writes, somebody tells you something privately, even though he doesn't say it's confidential. You have no right to tell it over, especially if it has some value the information. But if somebody makes a statement in a public setting, so it's, it's obvious it's not confidential. This has to do with api closer. You know, if you say something in the presence of three, it's already public knowledge, so on and so forth. As I said, I said, I said, I said you know, apologize. But if you say something, if it at least clear, it's public knowledge. It says, no, we're supposed to, okay. I said, if that's the case, then you have to be more careful what you, what you, you say in public. Right? But according to Allah, it definitely wasn't. Even on, even on the most sensitive level, it's not. 
Vulu igalaso tsarosov rabos utlunosov uda. He has tremendous problems in his life, but he has no complaints. It's, it's different. What do you say? Tlunosa muta. He has slight complaints. His complaint is, is small. He should have no complaint. What do you mean his complaint is small? What? Yeah, but still. So there's no tluna. Tlun means I have a claim. You have a claim against the Kodesh Baruch Hu? What is Tlunosa muta? His complaint is little. It's not a complaint. No. Person is a true tzaddik. No complaint. Mr. Glick told me that when the, the uh, Kleisenberger Rebbe came to Brooklyn in the 40s after the war, so he said, you know, he lost a wife and 11 children, he lost his whole community, and he was in the concentration camp, and literally he was really beaten. And um, he spoke. He had a jet black beard, and it wasn't very long yet. And he says his eyes were like like coals. He says he spoke with fiery, fiery. And they should have been devastated. Should have been broken with hope. And we're gonna, you know, we're gonna build and we're gonna reestablish and with a level. Nobody ever heard a complaint out of his ever, despite all what he suffered. So, but it's plus a to be continued.